Okay, so how do I start reading page one of a 500-page book? It's overwhelming. You're right. So the way that you start reading page one is by ignoring pages two through 500. Whether it's a 500-page book or a two-page book, you gotta read page one. Doesn't matter. 500 pages, 200 pages, 1,000 pages. Like, you can't read... It doesn't matter. The action is the same. The overwhelming part comes from the goal. This is why we're telling y'all live in the present. Because as long as you're living in the future, as long as you're thinking about your goal, like when we talk about motivation, I don't talk about goals. Why do you guys think I don't talk about goals? Goals make things harder sometimes. <laughs> okay, here's another one. But what if it feels bad if I leave 10 projects unfinished? Then it feels bad. Okay, so let me explain something to you guys. This is my notebook. Just one. There are lots of ideas in here, okay? This is Vata. So there's a lot of stuff in here. It's, just, it's filled with random crap. This one is... Let me just make sure this is okay. This is just a random to-do list, okay? And on the next page, here's my education rant. So I... This is something I want y'all to understand. So as being a Vata... Nine out of my ten projects are unfinished. So what? It's all good. One out of ten is finished. Seems to be working so far. Just focus on finishing the good ones. This is where people say, but what about these other nine? And it's like, where do y'all think all this crap comes from? So I had like, like I've had so many projects that are half complete. And when the community needs something, I'm like halfway done. It's great. I have all these projects. And they're halfway done. And I don't finish them until someone shows up and is like, hey, can you do this thing? And that's like, you know what? Actually, I can. So like, like we earlier today, we we're joking about, you know, group coaching for authors who haven't finished books. But there are, there are notes in that about my notebook, about the creative, like, burden, right? Like, we have notes. Like, if we wanted to do that, we could. So this is the strength of Avata. Is like you have nine out of ten projects that are incomplete. Sure, great, fine. Complete one, and then be prepared for the other nine. Because they could come in handy. It's crazy. Ideate. That's what Vatas are good at. And the other thing is if it feels bad, it feels bad. Like that's okay. Like, does it feel okay to finish one instead of zero? You can feel, still feel good about that. Yeah. So just uh, start projects. I'd say finish some of them. You know, but like Garma will help you with that. Garma helped me a ton. That was the big thing. It's like now it's like we've got stuff going on. <laughs> OK, so you guys, you guys think you can outdo Dr. K. How about if you finish zero? So I'm trying to figure out how to say this. Every finished project that I have completed. Was unfinished at some point. Right? You guys get that? I know it sounds kind of weird, but like, if you finish zero, you just haven't finished them yet. Right? Like, you just haven't finished it yet. So like, so what? So I'll, 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 I'll explain something. So like, the, the Dr. K's Guide to Meditation, I started writing in 2005. I started writing in 2005, and it was unfinished for 16 years and now it is done so like was that bad that it was unfinished in a decade in hindsight absolutely not i am so glad that i worked on that crap for a decade and then left it in a drawer because when someone sits down and, and asks me in four weeks to write two two or three feature length films about meditation that ends up being 65,000 words, it's ready. So for this is something else to just to share about myself. I started writing all kinds of random crap at the age of 21 that never turned into anything for like over a decade. And now like, now it's like I'm just finishing one thing at a time. So I know it sounds weird, but how about if you finish zero? F f you haven't finished zero. You don't know if you finish zero. You could finish half of them. You just don't know yet. So thus far, you've finished zero. So what? 
You could finish it tomorrow. You could finish it a year from now. You could finish it five years from now. You never know, right? It's weird. So be careful because when your mind tells you you finished zero, well, like, obviously, like, everything is unfinished until it's finished. And then you beat yourself up for not having finished any projects. It's like, that doesn't, you could finish it later. Everything is unfinished until it's finished. It sounds so stupid and simple, right? And then like the other big thing that, that people seem to, the other big realization I had is that you don't need to publish to get value out of writing. That was another huge revelation that I had. I wrote all this stuff and I thought, oh my God, this is unpublished. Like I never turned it into anything, but like, where do you guys think these answers are coming from? Like when I answer a question, like, where do you think it's coming from? It's coming from my head. How did it get into my head? It got into my head by writing. So writing for me is the clarification of my thoughts, which then are like accessible. So like people talk about unfinished projects and they value unfinished projects over finished projects. But in my experience, there's so much to be gained from unfinished projects. You learn so much. You learn about yourself, you learn about the process, you learn about the material. And if something comes along that demands that it be finished, it will be finished. Because the other thing I want you all to think about is when you have an unfinished project, like it's just you finishing it for the sake of finishing it. That's a waste of your time. It needs to be finished when someone needs it for something. Now, if you're not finishing things that people are depending on that are important, that's a different story. But I would venture that for most people, their unfinished projects are like existing in a vacuum. And you're just placing this arbitrary label on finishing it for the sake of finishing it because that's better than not finishing it, even though it may not have value in the world. You know, why don't you have unfinished papers when you graduate with an English degree? It's because you finished all the papers that needed to be finished. And all the half-written poetry crap that you didn't finish isn't ready to be finished yet. <laughs> okay, change my mind. Don't coach George R. R. Martin. How many notebooks do you have? Good God. You see that pile over there? That's my notebooks. Just in this iteration. That's maybe 20 to 25% of them.